Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to do one of the most important thing, important requests from the most of the users is how can we export one single visual from Power BI. Yes, it is possible now. So we are going to discuss this in this video. Before do that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So before we begin, I want to highlight you, this function works only in Power BI Premium per capacity. It will not work in Power BI Pro, not even in Power BI Premium per user. Because in my previous video, I informed this about in the end of the video. So most of the papers are confused about that. So I thought to inform this in the beginning of this video. Thanks for your feedback. So now let's begin. So for example, I have this report which can see which contains just the region sales and it has a three visuals here. One is the column chart and the table and then the card visual. Now, if I want to export a table, if I click here, then it will export the tables in a PDF file, will store it in a SharePoint. Okay, how this process works? So basically, so this is my Power Automate flow and if I click on my flows and then you have an option like create flows also. So click on the create flow basically we have two options one is scheduled flow or it can be a instant cloud flow so in both of them i tested out and both of them are working fine if i click on my flows then this will be two options here right now i'm going to use it from the first option which is basically the instant cloud flow which means whenever the user click on any button on anywhere else then it will be triggered those actions Right, so this is the one I need to click on edit here. So basically what I added here, I just added the on power bay button click. So if you want to know in detail, so let me add that starting step itself. I'm not going to cover in depth here also because I think I have already covered this in my previous video also. So you can just please go and check out that video as well. So here, if you click on the create one, yeah, okay and I'm clicking on instant cloud flow and here is asking me for the name. I'm adding a name here and if you want to add any kind of trigger here, you can click here and this selected here power BI button click and then create. So once you do so, it will give you this message here and then we can do all our steps here. So that's the initial step. So here I just clicked on the add here and uh, once you click on add, let me add a new step here. And here I need to select the Power BI. And if I select Power BI, this gives a list of available option here. And I'm going to select export to file for Power BI reports. As simple as that. So uh, we have already covered many of the videos here, three or four videos, how you can export it over there. But the single visual thing I have not covered. So that only I want to cover it now. Here we need to select the workspace name as usual, which is the Tag 18 demo and the report name is region sales and then format is PDF. Right now it is supporting PDF, PPTX and PNG, not in Excel or CSV. So other things we can skip for now and then we have option of page name one and the page visual name. So how can we get these two things? So first of all, the page name and the visual name, actually they have given it as a name name, but it is not a name. We have to use a different thing, which is basically when you open this Power BI report here, right? The default page when you open up here is the report section. And if you open further two or three pages, it will show the report section one, two, three, something else. So whatever it is, you have to pick up at the end of this line. Uh, what's the name here? You need to copy that and paste it over there. If you look at my previous one, then you will see this report section here, right? So that is the reason I have added report section over there. Now you have one more option, which is the page visual name. So how will you take this visual name? This is a challenging part. So for this one, I have taken some time to figure out how it can be done, but I will tell you the easiest way how it can be done. So right now I am in Power BI Desktop. So I open the same report in Power BI Desktop and now we need to go to view and open the performance analyzer. You can click on start recording and then refresh visuals. So this will load all the visuals on the page at one time and then you need to export this one. Yes, you need to export this one. 
and it will open up in a JSON format, which is basically a JSON one. And now I open up the same JSON file in a Notepad++. Which is a beautiful tool. We can open the same file in Notepad++. And if you have a plugin installed of the JS tools inside to this one, then it will be easy for you to format in a JSON format. And you need to click on plugins, JS tool, and then JS format. If you do so, then it will beautifully, it will transform all the format here. And now your challenge is before do that, I want to tell you one thing. So make sure you name all the visuals exactly as how you are able to easily find out that visuals. For an example, this is a table, right? And if I open up this view and then the selection pane and here it's a table and here this is for the card and here actually it has given a different name. And if you have the multiple card and multiple tables, then it will be good if you just rename exactly how and what it should be. So here sales of region by column chart. It's a good naming convention and this is power automate for power BI and this is a table. Just a plain table doesn't make any sense. So you need to give it exact name how it should be. Then it will be easy for you to find out in the performance analyzer, the JSON output. If I go back to this one, the JSON format and here you can see the visual titles sales by region. Right. And if I copy and paste search for again, the visual title here, I can see the card here. And if I type it again, the table. So these are the basic things which we need to follow. It will be easy for us to make our life easier. If I take an example of table here and you can see the visual ID, this is actually the visual ID. So this is the one you need to copy and paste on power automate. If I go here and you can see the visual name, which is basically the table of this power automate, right? After adding this one, and I'm not going to add and go through all these things here because I think we have covered already this one. And after that, I need to add a new step. This step is going to create a file in a SharePoint, which is basically if you click on the new step here and if you select the SharePoint here and here you can option of create file Right. So if I click on that one, then this gives me this option here and here you need to enter the site address name of the SharePoint and then you can add the file folder path and the file name here you need to give this dot PDF. That's an important thing, even though you are mentioning it here on the export as a PDF, but in the export file name also you need to mention that dot PDF and here in the file content, you need to click here and then select the file content, which is from this menu click here and then save. So once you save this one and the first thing you need to use the flow checker just to make sure everything works fine. And if it is done, then you need to click on test here. You can select automatically with the recent triggers or you can also do it manually here. So right now this is coming from power BI. So I want to do it from power BI itself. If I go back here now and how we can add it into power BI, right? So, you can do it in a two way, either in Power BI Desktop or also in Power BI Service also. So for an example, if I edit this report in Power BI Service, both of them are the same thing. You can do anywhere. So here you have option of Power Automate Visual. If you click here, then this gives an option here. If I zoom this a bit, what is, is saying here? Add data, drag the field needed for your flow, automated task in the field well. Set up your flow, select edit flow in the more options menu in the visuals and do all these things. So here right now it is asking to add data here. It is not a mandatory one. It is not a mandatory one. You can add or you can no need to add also. It's just a parameter which you are going to pass it to the power automate flow. Right now I don't have any kind of parameter. So I'm just clicking on this one and edit this one. So if I edit this, it will open up the power automate entirely inside the power BI desktop or power BI service report itself. This is really an amazing thing. So here this gives me the list of available flows which I have access and this is the one which we have worked just now and you need to click on this one and click on apply. You have successfully applied this kind of flow and you need to click on back to report. And here you have this button which is run flow and in the format option you have multiple things where you can do the coloring and the text format and anything else. So once you do so, the flow is added to this one. I'm going to keep it on the top here and then click on save and now going to read in view and click on run flow. So it is triggering now. This state has changed. 
and it is triggered so even though it says triggering and trigger and status is run flow now but still uh, if i go back to this flow here and if i refresh this flow just want to make sure whether the flow is running or not it is taking a bit time for me maybe it depends on the something internet connectivity or anything else it has taken the previous run almost one minute so right now it is 17 second let's run this after a while so once this is done it will create a file in the sharepoint so now all runs refresh this flow runs this is still running here we have also option here to refresh the flow runs and here what are the things we have used here is power bi mail i just said recently this is not working as of now when i'm recording this video so i use this sharepoint for now this report runs fail and why this is fail if i click on this one this gives the information about why this flow has failed here a file name shared document modified by i think the file already exists if i click here and click on refresh here yeah actually the file is already there that is the reason it is uh, not overwriting this one because we have not selected those options here and for now this is a different topic uh, we can discuss this later on in a different way if you really need this one please post your feedback in the comment section below i will try to make a video on this so i'm not deleting this one for now and going back to this power bi report and click on run flow again it is triggering now it is triggered here and status is changing again to run flow yeah that's cool if i go back to this flow and go back here right now you can see the status here this is still running so let's wait for a while yeah right now it is succeeded at one minute six seconds if i go to this one and the file is not here let me refresh this here So region says and here if I click here right now it has to export and show me only the table visual here yes this is here that is really amazing right and just for testing purpose if I go to this flow and edit this flow now just for an example I want to export only that particular column chart visual if I go to this export option I need to change this visual name this is the one and if I visual title this is table ah, this is the one if I select this ID here and paste it over there and change the export file name to be file as chart and save this flow going back here this is saved going back here and go to power bi now same I am not changing anything else on the Power BI, it's just the same because we have changed everything on behind the scene which is on the Power Automate. So if I come back here and refresh this one, this is running now. So let's wait for another one minute. It is success now, now let's refresh the SharePoint. It is here, if I open up this one. This is great. I can just see only this chart visually in a complete whole page. So that's it. Here is the way how you can able to export only one single visuals in Power Automate in Power BI using Power Automate. But I tried it for the Excel also, but it is not working because the option is not available as of now. Maybe in future they will do that. But again, I'm telling you there are certain limitations here. If I go back here to this one, this is actually the same visual and considering the limitations additional manual inputs to the button aren't supported at this time we plan to add support to this by generally available release right now it is still in preview so currently we only have few built-in templates we plan to add more based on your feedback so the visual will only display flow within your default environment we plan to add support to for an environment selector by general availability release the visual isn't supported by for embedded analytics the visual is not supported by Soren clouds so these are the limitation but still their limitation is you need to have power bi premium license not power bi pro not even power bi premium per user if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button 
and if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries or feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video